Okay, hi everyone, my name is Danielle Crumley, and in this video, I will be using Python 3 syntax to reform my output from SPSS, specifically the output from uh, linear regression analysis. Um, so this project is part of my CSCI E7 class um, at Harvard Extension School, and this is our wonderful teaching staff from the spring of 2017. Um, so just going into a little bit of what I'm going to be doing in this video. As I said, I'll be using Python 3 to reformat the output from an SPSS multiple linear regression analysis. Um, so SPSS is a statistical analysis program, and it can run this specific type of um, statistical analysis, and it produces output. Um, but the output's kind of, it's very long and in a bunch of different tables. So the whole idea here is just to generate a table using Python 3 syntax um, that is easy to read and understand. Um, so an improvement upon the raw output, hopefully. Um, so what we'll be needing in, um, to do all this is the SPSS statistical analysis program itself. I am using um, SPSS version 24 and I'm on a Mac version Mac OS version 10.12.2. Um, and these SPSS and SPSS client, these are the libraries that I'll be using, um, the Python libraries um, that I'll be importing. And actually, we will be running the Python 3 syntax within an SPSS syntax window. So I'll show you how we do that um, in a little bit. But basically, um, you have to just tell it to begin program, Python 3, and then you write all of your Python syntax, and then end program. Um, <clears throat> and then the data file that I use in this example is um, it's a publicly available data set. I had edited it a little bit um, in the previous class I worked from this data, but worked with this data, but um, you can download all of my data from uh, the GitHub account right here, GitHub URL right here, sorry, and that'll be my notebook and my SAV file. The SAV file is the data, the SPSS data. Um, so, that's this little thing here. This is kind of the goal of our output, you know, our reformatted output. We want to create a table that looks something like this. So these are our variable names, and these are all the statistic values that I want to grab and make it look like this. Um, so let's go ahead and switch over to SPSS. Um, this is my SPSS syntax window. So it's a .sps file. And this right here is SPSS syntax. It just tells uh, the program to get my data file and to um, run the regression. And then the Python syntax is down here. So I'm going to just run this part right here. And then you'll see it opens an output window. And this is the actual data set, which we don't really need. Um, so this is all the raw output that SPSS generates from the regression analysis. You have all of these tables just from one regression analysis. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is I've chosen these values that I want to grab from each table. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab values from the model summary table, a NOVA table, and coefficients table. Grab almost all the values from here. Um, the degrees of freedom and the f and the significance from here and um, the r square and adjusted r square from here and then reformat them to make them look better so um, i will actually be running the python syntax in this spss syntax window but i'm going to walk through the code um, in jupyter notebook just because it looks better and apparently i'm very into readability so um, first, we are actually going to use um, the SPSS client library, which um, this part here, we gather all the values from the output labels, from, sorry, the output tables that we want. And then um, later we use the SPSS library to actually generate our new table in the SPSS output. So, <clears throat> okay, so first, in the SPSS client, there are a lot of different modules that help you grab different values from the output tables, and it's quite confusing um, at first. But the general idea is um, we're you know we're accessing the active output window, which is you know this one here. And then we're 
looping through all the output items. So this is an item, this is an item, um, and we're only interested in the items that are pivot tables because I said, you know, I just wanted the values from those three tables. So basically then what we're doing is looking through each table and grabbing the values that we need. Um, so the model summary table, the ANOVA table, I'm just going to run through um, the coefficients table to see how we're grabbing the values. Um, and essentially what I'm doing is creating a coefficient dictionary here in which the keys are the variable names. So where's the coefficients table? So the keys are all of these. And then the values in this dictionary, uh, the value corresponding to each variable name is going to be a list of lists. So it's going to be constant will be the key, and then the value will be a list of lists, and the first list in that list will be b, comma, 5.082, and then standard error, comma, 0.543, and so on. Um, I would definitely recommend, um, if you want to run this on your own, to do a lot of print statements and see uh, which, which values correspond to what and what's going on here, because it took me a very long time. Um, so, where are we? Okay, so basically these, I said these are the values that I wanted to, that I was interested in. It was almost all the values from this table, except for the T value. Um, so in this syntax here, I am just doing all that what I said, grabbing, um, grabbing each of these statistics and the corresponding actual values. Um, and here you see I have, um, rounded the value to two decimals, each of these values. So <clears throat> this next block is like a little bit, um, and again, I was just going through this example, but how I got the values from the other tables is similar, a little bit less complicated. Um, and then I'm actually editing the coefficient dictionary variable a little bit because um, I just wanted my values, my table to look like this. So I wanted the B and the confidence interval to be all together in one um, in one column here like this, as opposed to, where's that output? As opposed to like this, we have the V here, and then these are the, the confidence intervals. So I just put those together, doing some concatenation over here. Um, yes, so I'm changing um, this so that all the, the B and the confidence interval together. And then here, we're defining the footnote that we'll be using in our table. And the footnote, actually all the values come from the first two tables, the um, model summary table on the NOVA values table. And so we just grab those values and put them in that footnote. And then this last part is actually very easy once we've grabbed all the labels, um, generating a new table with the SPSS library. All we do um, is import SPSS uh, <clears throat> and use this very, um, basic pivot table, create a basic pivot table. You just tell it all your row labels, column labels, um, and uh, your footnote. And then basically, once we run that, where's my syntax window? So I'm just gonna run the Python syntax, and you will see that it generates a table that looks like the one in my PowerPoint. So that's, I think that's a little better to look at than, um, than, you know, all of these tables from one regression analysis. So thank you for watching. And let's see, my, these are my sources. This is the data set on uh, Vietnam era war veterans and all of these other, um, other URLs here. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.